Hi everyone, today I'm up in the old summer house. It's a fitting place to be for a review of this type because I'm going to do a review on this solar spot lamp. Now this is a much better piece offering than I've seen uh, on eBay and the likes. I, I expect lots of you have probably had one of those cheap ones uh, that about five or six pound last about two months and water gets into them and they're dead they use a really cheap battery they're all together pretty nasty things coming out from China that are not worth a damn light now this offering why am I doing this because this is a much better deal altogether and I'm not saying it is the same price as those little cheap things it is not because this is a decent piece of kit. Um, you've only got to look at it. I know you can't feel it, but if you look at the LEDs in there, you can see this is a much better uh, arrangement. It's really heavily waterproofed and sealed. Um, it has a spray on it for the water sealing properties. It also has lithium batteries inside there, which are really good, and they're rated very highly, uh, 2,300 AMH. Anybody that knows about batteries will know that they are good ones, and when it goes, uh, you know you can put a decent battery back in there and it will keep on going. And we all know batteries are the weakness with these kind of lights, uh, uh, and that is where they often go fall down, not just in the weatherproofing, um, but the battery. Oh, it is the most important thing. So, what else is good about this? There's adjustment bolt through there when you get it. You can lock it through. You can adjust this thing up and down. You can adjust the panel as well. Another little good thing I like with this one is if you have a look there, you've got three holes there, and that's to screw it. So you can you can actually put it on a wall or a fence, screw it up like so, and then have the beam facing down, which is really handy if you've got something else you'd rather have it for rather than just stuck in the ground. Obviously, you've got the stake as usual. Uh, that's here. Um, the usual thing, stake in the ground and see how it goes. I'm just going to do that for the demonstration. So what else is good about it? Um, it's got a rubber switch for off on low power and on high power. So obviously the low power will make it last a lot longer through the night and the high power obviously not quite so long. But again this is all dependent on the weather. Here in England as we know we get a lot of cloud and we don't get too much sun so I'm not going to expect too much but you know, I've heard good reports about it and the only way we're going to find out if this is really any good uh, is by trying it out so without further ado now I'm going to switch over to nighttime view uh, skip a few hours and uh, we'll try it out and see exactly what it is like right oh then night time it is well virtually dark now and uh, you can see I've got it over there, I've got it on. Uh, this is on the lower setting, and give you a true idea what it's like. I'm going to turn this outside light off so that it's kind of got no other influences to see how bright it is. So, there we are, that's on uh, the lower setting. I'll switch it up now so it comes onto the full setting. It's just a little bit brighter again. But I'm sure you agree that that is a pretty good light there. I'm quite well, well pleased with that. I've got to say, that's the best um, solar light I've seen. So there we are on the brightest level setting. I'll pull it out now. You can see, I'll shine it on me. That's not bad. I'll tell you what, that is pretty damn bright. Really good, really good light. I kind of really like this. It's very, very bright. I can shine it around and you can see my plants and that there. Look, very easily. Isn't it a lovely garden? We love our garden. <laughs> so one of these isn't a bad investment, I think. This is the best one, I've got to admit, I've seen. So, as far as I'm concerned, it's pretty good. I'll give you an update now on the light. So, conclusion of this spotlight. As of all things solar, obviously uh, you do need the sun to make it work. I know it sounds a bit obvious, but if you're putting this in a shady position, uh, you're not going to get a long length of light through the night with it it does really need to be in a sunny position and obviously because it's kind of in that configuration there that solar panel needs to be facing south or at least get some sun at some time of the day uh, you don't want a shady part of the garden obviously it won't work as well that said you probably know that anyway but other than that if you've got a place for one of these this I do heartily recommend. It is the best one I've ever tried and ever tested and I've tested lots believe me so Comes highly rated for me. I've got a link on my video in the information underneath if you want to buy one. They are great. 
Uh, and that really is about it for my conclusion with this spotlight. Thanks very much for watching. You know where to go for all my videos, Derrick and 33. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.